Bonjour, my name is Martin Brisson. I'm an interior designer in Montreal and I'm actually in a magnificent loft in Montreal in the heart of Plateau Mont-Royal. It's a whole warehouse, 5,000 square feet. It's a really big, big, big house. It's three living rooms. The first living room, it's uh, near to the foyer. And you have the second one, it's just for lay down on the, on the sofa and take a drink. And you have a little lounge here, just behind the salle à manger. It's like a hotel lounge. The whole look is an eclectic style and really dramatic. The client, he wants full of color, purple, green, yellow, and he loves a cushion and velvet. I told the owner, maybe it's interesting just to put something to remind there's a warehouse. You can put together your theatrical style and your colorful style with industrial style. I decided to put stairs on iron with light because when you mixed some beautiful thing with a rough thing, you create atmosphere. The big book stairs in iron and wood, it's oak, custom made, all one. And it's a beautiful design of Jan Bréclair. It's important for the owner to expose the books and the object he collected from nombreux voyages. <laughs> the salle à manger. You have a huge table. 18 person can sit comfortably at that table. But you don't want 18 chairs look like the same. Decided to take two forms, round and square, and alternate the round and the square one. It's big, you play big. You can have small light. And one night, with a nice bottle of champagne, I put 35 Tom Dixon lamp. It's like a piece of art, it's an installation. The kitchen is black and brown, really simple. You have a big baroque rococo mirror and two really industrial lamp. It's a lamp for a dentist. It's stylish, it's beautiful, it's comfortable. The bedroom, it's like a little apartment. You have the bedroom, you have the bathroom, a walk-in, and you can walk on to the swimming pool. The floor, it's a ladder and you have a magnificent piece of wood come from uh, Bali and they're put behind the bed and I put the light behind and you have orange light. It's really, really warm. It's really sexy. The owner wants to have some gym or some place to do her exercise and he wants to have some uh, swimming pool, lap pool, but I want that place really chic and sophisticated because you can see the swimming pool when you sit on the living room. The owner decided to write a nice French poetry and it's a brass letter inside the floor. The guest bedroom, it's my favorite one. It's more girly, it's light, it's simple, it's white and light purple. I played that place like a little hotel room. You have a nice silk wall. You have some luxury thing. It's a detail, the doublure of the curtain is a purple velvet. You have a nice place to put your things on. You have a curtain in linen and leather. And I put the TV behind the curtain. It's really, really nice. And the magnificent bathroom with a steam room, wise uh, with marble. It's uh, really a chic and luxury hotel room. 
For the home theater, it's important to work with a dark color. And uh, red is dark and it's also light and it's also joy. It's a really, really technique room. You have a, a lot of speaker and subwoofer behind the wall. And you have a nice Perez sofa, custom made with a shaker on. It's a really glamorous theater and it's not a home theater, it's a theater at home. Even if you have a small space, you can play more dramatic. You just have to focus on certain objects and, um, and certain kind of furniture. Don't put too much because like in theater, you have one diva or one artist. You have some piece, it's important piece, and you have to focus on, and you have to play autour that object or that piece of furniture. That's the way you can play the theater and the dramatic on your home.